Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. We're here in one of our testing rooms and this time we're unboxing the Arcam Solo Bar Plus. This is a high-end soundbar that retails for around £649. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, well we have what looks like a manual. handbook in uh, a number of different languages. A sort of letter from Arca and a template for drilling in uh, screws into the wall for using a wall bracket to mount the uh, soundbar on the wall itself. We've removed the soundbar and the polystyrene in the bottom there is a box which is attached to this piece of cardboard. Let's see if we can open the box. There we go. Okay, here are all the accessories. Um, we've got a power cable, batteries for the remote control. It looks like uh, a microphone for a setup, perhaps. There's the wall bracket, which is what the template we saw earlier was for. And in here, here's a simple remote control. Very simple, actually. Basic buttons here for um, mute, on and off. Volume up and down, mode and menu. There we go. We've removed all the polystyrene and packing, and here we have the soundbar itself. And the first thing to note is that it's quite large, um, it's quite high, so you want to check the clearance between the bottom of your screen and the bottom of your stand to make sure there's enough room to actually put this soundbar in. Otherwise, you have to put it below the TV or maybe wall mount it. It's also very well made, um, heavy, solid, nicely engineered and I think quite attractive looking. So let's take a closer look at some of the features on this soundbar. At the front, there's some basic controls with input selection, power and volume control up and down. There's also a display down here beneath these uh, basic controls. And underneath, we have a fairly comprehensive set of connections for a soundbar. There's the power inlet connector here, four HDMI inputs and one HDMI output. There's also an optical digital input, a coaxial digital input, there's an output here for a subwoofer, the connector for the setup microphone, a 3.5mm auxiliary input jack, and also a USB port here for firmware updates. Arcam also make the Solo Sub, which is a subwoofer designed to be used in conjunction with the Solo Bar Plus. It retails for around £449, although if you buy the two together you can get them for about £1,000, saving you about 150 quid. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, well, we have a manual here, or handbook, as uh, Arkan like to call it, and a letter from Arkan thanking you for purchasing their subwoofer. There's also a power cord. And it uses a two pin connector. The Solo Sub is an attractively designed subwoofer that will look great in any modern living room. It's active, of course, and it's also wireless, so it can connect wirelessly with the Solo Bar Plus. At the back of the Solo Sub are the controls, and here you can set the crossover, and you can set the volume, select the inputs, so either line input, wireless, or using it for LFE, um, set the phase, standby, and then you've got uh, an LFE input or left and right analog inputs here, and then the buttons for pairing the uh, Solo Sub with the Solo Bar Plus. And there you have the Arcam Solo Bar Plus with matching Solo Sub. Don't forget you can read the full review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.